Lynx Touch provides state-of-the-art security and home automation benefits. Whether your Lynx Touch looks like this or this, the operation is the same. If your installer has set up the home automation features in your system, follow these simple steps to enroll your Z-Wave devices. It's possible that one or more Z-Wave devices may be enrolled with another control system. If you want these devices controlled by the Lynx Touch, you will have to exclude them first. To exclude a device, in this example a light switch, do the following. From the home screen, select the automation icon, then press the down arrow. Select the tools tab. Select the exclude devices tab. You will then be prompted to exclude the device. Within several minutes, press the designated button on the switch you want to exclude. You will get a confirmation screen displaying the excluded device, or it may display unknown device excluded. Select the back icon once to get back to the tools menu screen. We will now enroll the light switch and two other Z-Wave devices. To enroll a light switch, select the Include Devices tab. You will then be prompted to include the device. Within several minutes, press the designated button on the switch you want to include. If enrollment was successful, you should hear a confirmation beep from the Lynx Touch. The Lynx Touch will display, Device found, please wait. And the device's information will be added to the top of the list. You can now continue adding Z-Wave devices. We will now add a thermostat. The thermostat in this example is a Honeywell Z-Wave enabled thermostat. Within several minutes, go to your thermostat and press the System tab. Select and hold the middle tab on the bottom row until the menu changes. Select the first down arrow until you see RF10. Select the second up arrow to include the device. If enrollment was successful, you should hear a confirmation beep from the Lynx Touch. The thermostat device information will be added to the list. We will now add our last device, a door lock. The lock in this example is a Yale Z-Wave lock. Within several minutes on your lock, enter your master code for your lock, followed by the pound key. Menu mode. Enter number. Press the pound key to continue. Select 7. Wireless you will be prompted to select the pound key to enroll. Join the wireless network. Then Press select the pound key, the pound to, key to confirm. If enrollment was successful, you should hear a confirmation beep from the Lynx Touch. The door lock device information will be added to the list. When you are finished enrolling all your Z-Wave devices, press the Abort button. Now that we successfully enrolled our Z-Wave devices, we will rename each one. Giving your Z-Wave devices a custom name will make them easier to locate on the device list. To do this, select the back icon until you return to the automation screen. Select the Switches tab. Select the switch that you enrolled. Select the Edit icon. Select the Clear tab. Then type in the name of the device. You have 14 characters available for the name. For this example, we will name this Hall Light. Select Done. Select Back Arrow until you reach the automation screen. Now let's name the thermostat. Select Thermostats. Select the thermostat that you enrolled from the list. Select the Edit tab. Select Clear, then type in the name of the device. In this example, we will name it Main TSTAT. Select Done. Now let's name the lock. Select Back Arrow until you reach the automation screen. Select Locks. Select the lock that you enrolled. Select the Edit tab. Select Clear, then type in the name of the device. In this example, we will name it Front Door. Select Done.